All right, guys, welcome back. So I've made a few helium mining videos now, and a lot of people have been asking how to actually buy a Bobcat 300 helium miner. Unfortunately, you cannot purchase these things with credit or debit cards or PayPal or anything like that. You have to use cryptocurrency in order to buy these things. So I'm going to do a very fast tutorial, bare bones on how to actually order these devices. So here we are at Bob bobcatminer.com. We're going to go over here to order now. Now it's going to have you pick a model and this is going to be based on your geographic region because in each geographic region, these devices have to put out a different frequency of signal for this device to actually connect to the network on. So I live in the United States, so I obviously need to pick the North America US 915 model. Now a couple of important reminders here that they list only send USDC stable coins. You cannot spend Bitcoin, Ethereum, other stable coins like Tether, which is USDT. It has to be USDC and it has to be on the ERC20 network. And the estimated shipping time is quite a while. It's going to be about 20 to 28 weeks from your order date before they actually ship these devices. And that's not exactly uncommon, unfortunately, because all of the suppliers and manufacturers that create helium miners have significant backlogs at the moment, partially due to global supply chain issues that are going on with the pandemic and partially because these things are massively popular and wildly profitable. So people are buying these things faster than they can make them. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to buy some of these North America versions, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and buy 10 of these, and we're just going to go buy it now. Say, I have read the terms and conditions. All right, and here it's going to ask me for my contact information and shipping information. Now, they do not ship to P.O. boxes or military addresses. I'm going to block this part of the video out here for just a moment while I put in my personal stuff. All right, so now that we've got our personal stuff in there, this next page just has you choose the shipping method. But honestly, at least where I live, there's only one shipping method available. I can't actually click this and change it. It's drop shipping. It's going to be a little over 100 bucks, which brings my grand total for 10 miners out to about $467 per device. Not too bad considering the, a lot of these t devices are going to be making at least $100 a month on sort of the lower end of the spectrum. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue to payment. And then on this next page, we're just going to make sure our billing address is good to go and it's not different from our shipping address. So we're going to go ahead and hit complete order. It's going to think a little bit and then it's going to give us a couple of different options. You can either pay USDC from a wallet or you can use Coinbase Commerce. And this is what we're going to use here for the purposes of this video is going to be pay with Coinbase. Now, you do have to have USDC coin inside your Coinbase account wallet. As you can see here, I've got uh, about $9,000 worth of USDC inside my Coinbase account. If you don't already have a Coinbase account, you can just go to coinbase.com, get signed up. It's going to have you put in your personal information. So you're going to need your driver's license, uh, name, social, address, all that kind of good stuff. And then you're going to have to also give it your access to your bank account. That's how you're going to fund these purchases initially. So if you don't already have USD in your account, once you have it set up and your bank account loaded, you're just going to come up here to buy sell and then you are going to buy click on this scroll down until you come to usdc and you're going to pay with just make sure you choose what bank you are going to be paying with and then you're just going to type in here how much usdc you want to actually purchase and then hit preview buy and then confirm buy now in this case i'm not going to do that because i already have funds loaded in here now, if you are purchasing USDC, it usually takes about three to seven days for your bank transfer for that money to go from your bank into Coinbase. So you can't actually transfer these USDC coins out until that ACH transfer has completed. All right. But 
For the purposes of this video, as you can see, we've already got some USDC loaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit pay with Coinbase. And this little browser pops up. Now, normally it's gonna ask you for your Coinbase account, your username and password to actually get logged in. I've already done this in the past and so it remembers my account. So it logs me in immediately. But typically you're gonna to have to put in your Coinbase username and password. All right, so now it can see that I have a sufficient amount of USDC in my wallet and it's gonna charge me that 4677 in USDC for the 10 miners shipping and all that stuff. And then obviously with any crypto transaction, there is a network fee. So currently the network fee is gonna be about $7 bringing our total up a little bit. But we're just gonna go ahead and hit send now. And then it's gonna ask me for my authenticator code. So give me just one moment here. All right, so as you can see, now the website says payment sent, and you should be getting an email, sort of a confirmation saying, hey, thank you for your order with all of the details, that kind of a thing. Now, what can you do if this process isn't working? What are a few common mistakes people make? So first off, your funds have to be in regular Coinbase. They cannot be in Coinbase Pro. And as you can see, it looks like my payment is still technically pending, which isn't the end of the world. Most blockchains take a little bit of time with USDC coin. It's probably gonna take about five, 10 minutes or so for this transaction to actually update and for these funds to be you know, taken out of my Coinbase account. But make sure you are using regular Coinbase. A lot of people use Coinbase Pro in order to do their trading because it has less uh, fees associated with buying and selling of cryptocurrencies. Coinbase Commerce does not read your funds in Coinbase Pro. So if you had funds in Coinbase Pro, you would need to swap them over to regular Coinbase. And you would just come over to Portfolios, hit Withdraw, wait for it, wait for it. And then you're going to scroll down and pick USDC that you are going to send to coinbase.com. You're just gonna switch from pro to regular Coinbase. And then you would just transfer however many coins that you are interested in. Now, this processing time is instant and there is no fee because this is not an actual on blockchain transaction. This is just sort of an internal thing that Coinbase does. So you will not be charged a fee to send it from Coinbase Pro to Coinbase. But that's gonna be your first thing if this is not working is make sure your assets are on regular Coinbase. And lastly, make sure it is USDC coin. You cannot use Tether or any other type of stable coin in order to make this transaction. Other than that, we're just gonna sit back and wait for these devices to show up and get them deployed around town and start earning some sweet HNT rewards. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you all again next time. Thanks.